bring up the lighter. Okay, that should be good. I'm a little low on ammo now, but I shouldn't need anything more than what I have. So I'm going to go unlock this uh, last door here, which is going to be real fun, because if you've never played the B game before, it's pretty fucking scary, <laughs> the changes that they did to this part. So this is generally the same puzzle um, as before. It's... what is it? It's Queen Jack King, right? 11, 12, 13? Okay. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I'm just gonna... Okay. I, I messed that up. I think this is the correct order. If not, it's on the back of the room and... No? Maybe it's Jack, King, Queen. Queen, King, Jack. Alright. Ah, come on. Queen, King, Jack. So I just have dyslexia. Jack. Jesus fucking Christ. That wasn't too bad. Oh my god. Handgun bullets! Are you shitting me? Ugh. I didn't want to use that. <laughs> Handgun bullets, really? Uh, always busting through walls, scaring the shit out of me. Uh, and again, you son of a bitch! Oh my god. Give me something better than handgun bullets, please. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Hmm. I'm gonna try something real quick. If I don't pick up this cog, I don't know if he'll come and attack me. I think he'll only break through this wall the second time once I pick up that cog. Nope. Oh my god. And I accidentally just save stated. Ah. 
Alright. I'm going to make a save state here then. Okay. And I'm just going to have to come back for that stupid cog. At least now I do. I do have a whole bunch of uh, ammo though for that bow gun. I have close to about 25, 30 shots, which is pretty significant. That should get me through some bad times. Now, that was two fights I had to do with the T zombie right there. And if you wouldn't believe it, I do have another one before I even leave the police station, but I'll let it remain as a surprise. <laughs> Hmm. Low on healing items again. <sighs> Alright. Alright, so we're almost out of the police station. We're almost there. But to be honest, I don't really know where to go first. Um... Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Sorry, I'm stupid. I do know where to go. <laughs> we have to go up to the third floor. This is where it kind of differs from the A game. Up until now, it's been pretty similar. Um, this is kind of where it starts... The beginning, it was different a little, and then now this part of the game is going to be a little different, too. Okay, so now we can get this stupid cog thing. Oh man, that stupid T zombie, man. Just busting through walls like he's the nemesis or something. a jerk. We still haven't, uh, in terms of gameplay-wise, we still haven't discovered who the T-Zombie is or why he's here, but I'm pretty sure we'll start learning more about that pretty soon. Alright, so now we got to go to the third floor. So we can use the crank and the cogwheel and get the final blue puzzle piece here. And using that we can get out of the police station. Oh, uh, seriously? Gah, run, Claire, run. Just for your information, the, the police station now, like, if you would have cleared it out, is completely, like, refilled with enemies. Like, you know, just different fuckers that they sprawled everywhere. Just to make your life a living hell, basically. Alright, so we can use the crank here. And that'll get rid of that. And then we can use the cog. This puzzle is basically the same as Leon's, although when the dust chute opens, um, in Leon's game you take the dust chute because it's taking you where you need to go. But in this occasion it's not. Uh, the dust chute will take you down to the back down to the uh
So we're not going to take the dust chute down. Because that takes us down back, back down to the, uh, the parking lot. And we don't need to go to the parking lot. We need to go to the room where we can use this. If you remember that is. Which is by the police helicopter that was on fire. 